Good morning again. Welcome back. Welcome back to the boat. Uh, we've had another great week up here. The weather is starting to get better again. I think we had two weeks of winter, <laughs> maybe three, where it got down to 11 degrees at night. Still 20, 22 during the day. Now it's getting back to 26, 27 during the day. It is beautiful again. So, let's have a bit of a look at what we got done last time. Um, we got all the windless bits out and I don't know if we're going to be able to reuse any of it. Uh, we're looking at this front section. So I've got to obviously rip these out. We're going to cut all this out and, and figure out how we're going to, what we're going to modify with them. If we're going to keep something like this. I like it. I like how it comes right up. Um, we're going to obviously have the beam that comes right out. It's going to go right out the front. Uh, for the ooh, for the front frame to go onto. And that's going to be nice and long. So we're trying to work that out. But we've got to chop all this out anyway and re redo the top and be able to get in to redo these that's the main reason for chopping all this out and we'll redo these and we'll refiberglass it all back up and seal it up so today we're going to do a bit more working on that we're going to work on this we'll vacuum up clean out all the groves and little gaps we've got some builders bog for this stuff internal external tradies bog um, non-slumping it's good in salt water good in fresh water and salt water so we're going to use that to fill in the gaps around the edges just to level it all up fair it up basically i'm just going to fair it all up around the edges um, and that will be good for our ceiling around the edges of the roof. So today we're gonna to do a bit of this. We're gonna keep cleaning up this area to where the boards are good, um, which, you know, this side here is pretty, pretty terrible. So we might just keep ripping it out until we get to the boards good. We'll take these off, get those timbers off, those timbers off and fix up the front. I think that's a good plan for today. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so we've got a first coat down. Um, the trick with this stuff is get a nice pink. You want a good, even pink color throughout. Uh, look, it's already, it's already tacking off pretty hard. Give that about half an hour, that'll be good enough to sand. So what I've done so far is just done a, a, an initial layer to get all the holes and to, to build up some of the real deep parts um, then we'll give that all a sand down and then we can go over it again with another load and just try and level it out a bit more it's mainly on the outer edges that I want to level it out a bit because that's where I want to have a nice bit of um, polyurethane cork that uh, is going to seal up that edge and the rest of it's going to be done with a, with a polyurethane glue um, so the glue is going to be going on the wood part and the cork is going to be going around the outer edge. The cork is going to be more of a water seal. Um, but we're also going to have this roof sheets overhang a little bit. And fiberglass around so that we try and prevent water from getting in under that edge as much as possible. Cool. All right. While that's drying, let's tackle another job. So I've cut a hole out of the deck area here 
cut around these posts that are, that are rotted out. And then they're pretty good. I reckon I can cut them off down there on both sides. And then we can put a nice big block. Might have cut them a bit lower. There, somewhere there. Then I can put a big block between and we can fit new ones, new ones coming up off that. Um, and we're gonna have a nice big beam running through here. So we've got a big beam there and a nice support block there with a, with a joiner across the ends. We should be able to replace these couple of bits pretty nicely. Okay, that one's beautifully square. 
that one's not quite so we'll just have to adjust buzz a little bit off that edge and uh, we should be able to get a nice glued bit of timber straight on top and it's a 50 mil 50 by 140 Absolutely beautiful. Such a nimble little dog. Thank you. 